Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making the dough for cinnamon rolls. It's going to be a two-step process for me. I'm going to make the dough tonight, then put it in the refrigerator and let it sit in there overnight. Tomorrow I will take it out about an hour before breakfast and then go ahead and bake them off so that we can have them hot and fresh out of the oven. We're going to be using the bread maker today. I've showed you my bread maker before. It is a very old West Bend bakery style automatic bread and dough maker. And I'm gonna use this to make the dough, like I said, and then go ahead and store it in the refrigerator. Now, making cinnamon roll dough really isn't that hard. It just has what you would expect. The recipe calls for milk at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, one large egg, butter or margarine, I'm using butter, bread flour, sugar, salt, and some bread machine yeast. You could also use active dry yeast. Don't stop it. Don't... All right, we're gonna check the milk temperature and see if it's 80 degrees. We're using our candy thermometer and it looks like it is not quite. Wait, let's see, Fahrenheit, yep, it's about 80 degrees. See, Fahrenheit's on this side and celsius is it yeah. hot it is hot it's 80 degrees it, it wait wait it's kind of see there's two sides one has numbers in red that's celsius and the other side has numbers in black that's called fahrenheit and it has to be 80 degrees fahrenheit and right now it's just about that see the line that says 100 and it's in black See the little red yeah. line that's coming up, the red liquid, the mercury? Yeah. Well, it should be just below the 100, two spaces below the 100. So does it look right? Yes. Okay, good. Then we can go ahead and pour that in the pan with the butter and the egg. That's really hot milk. It is. It sure is. Take that. Thank you. And oh, it feels sure. like... Yep, add milk, butter, and egg the pan. Feels hot? It does. Good girl. Can I lick it? You wanna lick the hot milk? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Silly girl. It actually tastes like regular milk, but mm -hmm. it's not hot. <laughs> you want a glass of milk? Alright, no, 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 no. Okay. That's not level. Watch. Here. Like that. You okay. wanna make it level okay. right to the top. Oh. Okay, okay. that's called a tablespoon. A tablespoon. Yeah, there's one. You count them down. You have to do that three times. Now, let's see. Shake it. Make it level. Good girl. Perfect. Yep, it's okay to do that. That's very good. Now, go ahead and put that in. There's two. We need one more. The sugar acts as food for the yeast. Yeast is a living thing, and we need that to make our rolls. Now, measure. Oh, got to put some more on that one. Oh gosh. Is it level? Is it full? Because if we don't get it just right, baking's like a science and it won't taste right. It oh. won't come out the right way. I can't get this one. Want help? Oh, I think. I you think you got it? Oh my gosh. Come on, just get in here, Chucky. All right now. Oh! Yep, squish those lumps out. Squish. I squished them. Okay, go ahead. Good enough. All right, thank you. And next, we're gonna have to measure out. <laughs> tell them I'm salt. drinking. You can tell them I have it on. Hey guys, I'm drinking hot, hot milk, and it tastes good. <laughs> Trinity is gonna taste yeast. We're learning about yeast this weekend. We're making bread, and we're gonna do a science project with it later. You got some on your finger? Yeah. All right, go ahead and taste it. What's it taste like? Kind of nutty like? Mm hmm. Like I said, that'll make our cinnamon rolls rise and make the bread dough rise. Nutty like. Mm hmm. Some people use it in flake form to make them more hungry. It's called nutritional yeast. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this in the bread maker on the dough setting and let it do its thing, chicken wing. And in addition to our cinnamon buns, we're making pineapple upside down cake. They just came out of the oven, so hey. we have to let it cool. Hey, what? Hi. Hi. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Hold on, I gotta finish cleaning, then I'll come play, I promise. 
Okay, the pineapple upside down cake has been flipped over. We made it without cherries this time, and I am thinking I am going to put them both together and make a double layer upside down pineapple cake. I know that sounds weird, but we're going to give it a try, I think. I have some whipped cream that I may use as the filling and some blueberries. We'll see. But right now we have to let everything cool. That's way too hot to mess with at the moment. We've got our cinnamon roll dough in the bread maker. And now I'm going to take time off to go play with Trinity. We're going to go play Barbies. So we're going to go have a little play time before we get back to cooking. The timer just went off. So there is our dough for our cinnamon rolls. And we're going to have to take this out and knead it. And then, let's see, what do we have here? It says knead dough for a minute and rest for 15 minutes. So that's what we're going to go All ahead right, and do. All right, so Trinity is helping us knead the dough. Here, like this, go like that with the palm of your hand. Like this, see? That's how you knead a dough. Hey. All right, go ahead, you knead the dough. <laughs> it's hard work, isn't it? Here, look. Flip it up. Like this. And then, when we're done kneading it, we have to knead it for a minute. And when it's done, we let it rest for 15 minutes. And after that, then we can roll it out with the rolling pin if you want to make them tonight for tomorrow. Or we can just make them fresh tomorrow. No, no, rolling pin not yet. Has to rest for 15 minutes. We're gonna set the timer on the phone for 15 minutes. Play a little more. Yes, we can play a little more. You have to knead the dough to build up the gluten in it. The gluten strands. Gluten is a compound, I guess would be considered a compound. It is an element found inside bread dough. Anything to do with breads and rolls, things like that. Grains. Okay. I think we're good. And that. That's right, like the pizza dough. Now, we were gonna wait until tomorrow, but Trinity is anxious to use the rolling pin, so we are going to go ahead and... I love to use the I know you do. We're gonna go ahead and roll out our cinnamon rolls now and bake them off tonight and then just heat them up tomorrow. Hard work, isn't it? Here, why don't you sit in the chair and do it? Gotta roll it really good. We gotta make it into one big square. Chef Trinity, hard at work. Today's at work. Okay, we'll pretend you're at work. You're working at a bakery. I work at a bakery and it's fun. You know what we're gonna put on it after we roll it all out? What? Cinnamon and sugar and nuts. And then we have to roll it back up. All right, silliness. Now, our next step, we've rolled out our cinnamon roll. Now you're gonna take the paintbrush, dip it in the warm butter, and paint the dough with it. Gotta cover the dough with that butter. Otherwise, the cinnamon and sugar and nuts won't stick to it the right way. Butter. Mm -hmm. Butter watch out. <laughs> Butter watch out. You're silly. Do this, baby. That's right. Let's do this, baby. Cover it really good so that the rolls will be nice and buttery sugary and nutty and all that good stuff. Okay, doing an X 
excellent job. <laughs> okay, is it buttery? Get everything? All right. Now, the next part is to put the brush back in there. Now you're going to take and spoon some of the cinnamon, sugar, and nutmeg into this. Let me give it to you so it's closer to you. And you're going to sprinkle it like how we do over our pancakes. Go sh -sh 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 -sh. sprinkle it all over the dough. Do a little at a time. Use your spoon to put a little in the strainer at a time. Okay, now shake it over the dough. Spread it all out because all the dough has to have it. There's still some in there. You don't need to refill it yet. I'm just doing it just to. All right, make sure you get everywhere. You got it. You're in one spot. You got to spread it out. You're clumping it. It's got to go everywhere. No, nope, not with your fingers. With the shaker. Watch, watch, Mama. Look. Watch. Like this. See? Okay, put a little more in there. All right, the next step is to take the crushed pecans and sprinkle that evenly. You've got to spread it all out on the dough so that everybody gets some nuts when they eat it. You want all the cinnamon rolls to have nuts. This sounds so good. <laughs> it will be good. After we put that in there, I have to roll it up, slice it, and then put it in a greased pan and let it raise or rise, I should say, for... And then we can play for another few minutes. Yeah. It has to rise for 45 minutes to an hour, and then it can go in the oven. Well, I'm sure you will figure it out. Ooh, I got a good one. We should do blocks. We could play with blocks. Blocky blocks. We gotta be humans. Blocky humans. Blocky humans. Actually, no. We gotta just be the little dogs. We gotta see who builds the biggest tower. Okay, we'll see who builds the biggest tower. And, it, and then you crush it down. Like a cannonball. <laughs> Alright, that's what they look like. Sliced and put onto the pan. Now we're going to cover it up with a towel <laughs> and let it uh, rise for about an hour before we put the butter on and put them in the oven. Okay. Can I have a drink? Yeah, I'll get you a drink, honey. There is what our honey I buns look like. Now we're gonna put them in the oven. Let them cook. You good already? 375. <laughs> All right. Put them in there. Let them do their thing. What's that face for? <laughs> silly, silly rabbit. Wait. <laughs> Don't turn. Did we do a good job? Ah! Mm -hmm. Good.